But here's the deal. It is broke because every year for the last several years, the ratings have been tumbling. Like no one watches it anymore. And it's because they drag it out in giving you the brackets. They sit there, it's a two hour show and they don't give you the brackets until there's 20 minutes left. I mean, it's a joke. Nobody wants to sit and I think people will say, oh yeah, I want to sit and watch Charles Barkley for two hours. I get it, people, people want to do that. Well, you can do that on the NBA twice a week on TNT. In the college NCAA selection show, it's real simple if you ask me, if I'm a TV executive running that uh, entire operation. They had it at CBS forever, now it's gonna be just on CBS. Here's what I would do. Just come right out with it immediately, the brackets. That's the first thing you should do is give every single bracket in the first 20 minutes of the show and then spend the rest of the show breaking down each region with all the mouths. Because here's what's going to happen anyway. Once people get their uh, picks and their brackets filled in the first 20, 30 minutes, they're going to leave anyway because they don't care what all those mouths say. People want to see... Who's playing who? And how am I going to fill out my brackets? And I want to pick who I think is going to make it to the Final Four and win the championship. That's all people care about. Everybody's a genius. Everybody's a know-it-all. Everybody's got an opinion. And then they spend a half an hour talking about who got shafted. And then they do the exact same thing every year. They show these teams sitting in like a cafeteria somewhere, jumping up and down when they get announced that they're going. And it's just gotten so stale, except for them. The people that get in, they love seeing themselves jumping up and down on TV, but nobody else cares anymore. People want to see who's playing where and when and against who. That's all they care about. And I'll tell you another thing. One of the problems is the, the social media has ruined it. They get their hands on it with everything now, and you know exactly who's playing who, and you don't have to watch that drawn-out, boring-ass show. That's exactly what it is. I wouldn't watch that show if you hit me over the head with a frying pan and tied me up with duct tape and rope in a chair. It's just a waste of time. It is. It's boring. 